Market update on the 9th, midday. So we have now gone to the 1.61 fib of this right here. I think this is likely the A wave now, just based on how far this uh, C wave has gone, right to the 1.61 fib. It pretty much hit that and backed off. So I think there's a chance that this move is topped out. And so I'm going to clarify to um, how I get my targets because um, I had a comment about my target uh, going higher than the target or saying something about it had to stop going higher around 390 or 389. I got my targets based on this is how I get my targets for my fifth wave. So on the fourth wave, if we know this is a second wave right here and I thought the third wave ended, then I'm looking for it to pull back to like 387 to 385. And then I take the fib retracement tool again, the opposite way down to the start of the first wave. And I put it right here on the 0.38 fib, 0.23 fib. And both of those targets are like 392 to 391. But we got a shallow fourth wave. And so I can move it up to the bottom of that shallow fourth wave. And we hit the 0.5 to the 0.6 fib. So I didn't know on Friday that we were going to get a shallow fourth wave. I thought it was going to come down a little bit farther. So my targets were a little bit off using that strategy. But then again, it could extend to the 100% the retracement. We don't know how far it's going to extend. But 50%, the 0.61 eight fibs are usually the right targets. So I think we're in a fifth wave and we'll see if that 1.61 fib of this move ends up being the top of this move. And then we'll have to see, are we going to get an impulsive move down and this ends up being the second wave? Are we going to get this? Or is it going to be, is it going to go higher? Is it going to go A, B, C like that? We don't know yet. If I was guessing, I would say this is the top, but we're not in a supply zone. We have supply zone at 396. So um, we'll have to just watch it and see. Another thing to point out too is that um, it doesn't really matter where the top's at. You should be only buying options or trying to short this after you get confirmation of a top. So again, you wanna wait for a first move down. You wanna buy the pullback stop above the high that's how you play these moves you don't you don't guess where the top is that's how you get burnt and um, <clears throat> and i have a few positions right now that i just bought puts on and they're down a bunch of money but i'm going to add to them on a first wave or second wave pullback whenever we get the impulsive move down so that's kind of my explanation about where i think this is going to go we'll see rip right through the supply zone we got another supply zone right here and uh, Tesla, I'll show you exactly. I did the what I just talked about. I did that. So we got this move down right here. I bought puts right here. I got stopped out right here. This move looked pretty impulsive. I bought puts again. I'm likely going to get stopped out above 123.32. But I'm taking very small losses to protect my longs. Because eventually we are going to get a move like this. And I'm going to get in right here and I'm going to be able to protect my position by catching this move down here. So that's kind of my uh, explanation about not fighting the trend. Wait for the market to top out, come down and don't get to be patient and then buy the pullback um, buy puts in the pullback. So we'll see what the market does the rest of the day. It should pull back, but again, I'm not going to go on the lower time frames and guess on like the three minute time frame where the high is, but this is right around uh, the target based on the fibs I use. The dollar is falling pretty hard. Um, based how long the third wave is, it is potentially still, it's still a fourth wave in my opinion. This is a corrective move, but it could fall more than expected just because this one went from 90 all the way to 115. And so a bigger fourth wave pullback um, because of how extended this third wave is, is likely. And so I think that there's a chance we're getting to the bottom. But again, I don't want to fight the trend on this. We'll wait until it shows us that it is bottomed. And then we can start looking at the target 
that actually has changed based on this. So again, if I take third wave right here, we might just get something like uh, 115 to 118 now if this were to get a fifth wave. But we'll see what happens. Um, that's just a quick update. We'll see what happens with SPY the rest of the day. Um, wait for a pullback before you buy your puts. Don't try to guess the top. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you after the market closes. Oh, let's go over Apple real quick. So Apple, um, pretty good move. Again, I'm looking for, it hits, look at that, it hits supply right there. Hit supply and then backs, up, backs off. So we'll see if it keeps on going. It needs to break above 136.21. Um, we'll see if this is a top. If this is a top, then we're looking at it as the X wave. And then it's going to go down probably to like 115 at the least, potentially 108. So that's it for now. Let me know what you think in the comments if you understand uh, how I find my targets and uh, anything else you want to say. Where do you think this is going to go? Do you think we're going to get a... think this is going to happen? Or do you think we are topping out here? Again, oh, I didn't mention this. So, we are above the 20 and the 50. And so it is interesting, the 200-day is sitting here again. Are we going to hit the 200-day one more time? Right in a supply zone? That would that'd be pretty bearish if we hit that right in a supply zone and then back off. And then also, the 20 is still below the 50. So this move is still not confirmed bullish if it were to go higher. Still looking for it to come down. So we'll see what happens. Is this going to end up being... A, B, C, or is it going to end up being, well, it did come all the way to the 0.5 fib already, so it does have potential to be the five-wave move down here to the low 300s that we've been talking about. We'll see the rest of the day. I'll do an update after the market closes. Good luck. Uh, wait for the trend to change before you buy your puts or calls, whatever you're trying to do. That's it. Have a good trading day.